Hi, welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, I will explain in deep about PG admissions for Kerala Agriculture University. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be useful for ICR related exams and other agriculture education related videos. So in Kerala Agriculture University, they have given notification for both PG and PhD admissions for the academic year 2023. I hope you may have gone through this, but most of you may have doubt related to this with regard to the ICR accreditation certificate from the previous university where you have studied and some other doubts so we can go through deep in this video so for this the website is kiu.in i will give this link in description of this video you can go through that one so in that you have to click on this pg and phd admission prospectus now we will take this prospectus for pg and phd first i will take this notification this notification was given 10 days before so with related to the pg courses there are seven pg courses which is related to agriculture horticulture community science statistics cooperation and banking forestry and agricultural engineering whereas in phd courses whereas in phd courses there are five courses in agriculture horticulture community science forestry and agricultural engineering so with related to the fee structure for phd candidates it is 1500 for general candidate and 750 for sc and st candidates of only kerala if you are from the other side you have to pay the total fees of 1500 and for the pg course it is around 1000 rupee for general candidate and for sc st candidates of kerala it is only 500 rupee if you are from other state though you are sc st candidate you have to pay 1000 rupee for pg so the other state candidates will come under this general candidate next to mode of payment is in this sbi collect i hope all you may know then the last date for submission of this application is 7th october 2023 next i will go to this prospectus this is the prospectus of kerala agriculture university this Prospectus is available in that website. You can download and you can go through that one. There are three faculties. One is Faculty of Agriculture, Faculty of Forestry, Faculty of Agricultural Engineering and Technology. So it's related to this Faculty of Agriculture, different colleges such as College of Agriculture, Vellayani, which is in Thiruvananthapuram, College of Agriculture, Vellayani Kara, which is in Trishur, and College of Agriculture, Padanakad, which is in Kasargod, and College of Cooperation, Banking and Management, Vellayani Kara, Next with related to this forestry, College of Forestry Vellyanikara. For next Faculty of Agricultural Engineering and Technology, it will it is in Malapuram. So next with related to this next with related to this programs offered, they have given the different tables for both the masters and the doctoral programs. So you can go through this one. So they have given this um, different college wise seats with related to KAU and ICR. So you can go through this dip. But with related to other state, if you are applying from the other state, you can get only one seat per subject. That is also they have mentioned. Similarly, they have given for the all the disciplines with related to KAU and ICR and total number of the seats. You can go through this one. Next to with related to doctoral program also, they have given the same. You can go through this one. Next to with related to the eligibility for admission, here only the Indian nationals are eligible to apply. The two, your university or the institute, especially your college which you have studied, should be accredited by ICR and should be recognized by KAU. If it is accredited by ICR, then it's enough. Next with related to the minimum OGP requirement, that is you can go through that one. Next, what are the courses and what are the eligible criteria they have given here. So you can go through that one. Next, we can go through the selection procedure. For the masters, there will be three particulars. One is with related to marks obtained in ICR or KAU entrance examination. In Kerala Agriculture University, KAU exam will be conducted separately only for this community science and cooperation and banking courses for the remaining courses the marks that you have scored in icr will be considered next it will be converted into 75 marks so for example icr exam is conducted for the marks of 480 so this 480 marks will be conduct converted into 75 mark there are some calculation or procedure it will be converted as per that next with related to academic uh, performance that is the marks or grade that you have obtained in your degree examination that is if you are applying for MSc then your UG OGPA will be considered that is for 20 marks for example if your OGPA is 9 for 10 then it will be converted as 18 out of 20 that is the procedure and uh, with related to third is publication or sports or the arts so here they have given the criteria for publication or sports or arts if you have published this popular article or poster or anything related to that they have given the mark according to that and if you have participated in any sports or 
or games or arts with representing the nation or state or university then you have separate marks for that so it will be very important while you are applying for kerala agricultural university next it is similarly with uh, related to phd also that is you can go through these are the original documents that you have to be produced at that time of admission i hope all of you may have next this is the fee structure for uh, kerala agricultural university for msc or mtech programs the total semester fee is 17761 and with related to phd it is only 18696 actually this is the lowest fees in south indian agriculture universities that you can go through so kerala agriculture university will be little cheap as compared to other agriculture university not only little cheap it will be more cheap as compared to other agriculture university so that is also one of the big advantage next we can come to this icer accreditation so when you are applying for msc or pg related courses your ug completed college or institute or university should have higher accreditation and if you are applying for phd your ug completed college or university or institution and pg completed college or university or institution both should have higher accreditation and it should be strictly followed in kerala agricultural university this nomenclature will be strictly followed then you ask higher has given this some notification that no need of icer accreditation like that but we don't know about that most of the universities need icer accreditation for their admission next with related to the certificate that you need to obtain from your previous institution or college and it should be uploaded in kerala agriculture university portal at the time of filling application is the certificate from head of the institution to the effect that institution is under the university which is accredited by icr or will come under the umbrella of NRS of ICR in the case of candidates have passed to the qualifying examination from outside Kerala for example if you have completed your UG or MSc course both in KAU then you don't need to upload the certificate but if you are uh, applying from other state for example you may be from Kerala but you have studied uh, your UG from other state then you have to upload the certificate if you are from other state then you are applying for Kerala agriculture university then also you need to upload this certificate so this certificate need to be obtained from the head of the institution of your college so they have to mention that our college or university is accredited by icr like that or at the time of icr accreditation icr should have sent one letter to your college in that letter the duration of this icr accreditation and eligibility or marks like that will be mentioned so in that you can highlight your college or university name and then you can upload that letter also because in the recent year we are in the last 2 to 3 years because in the last 4 years we have followed both of this pattern but this year most of the universities are neglecting to give that accreditation letter so most of the students are facing a big issue in the past uh, one week and uh, many students approached me how to get that one so for this i have one document this is the list of accredited uh, universities or colleges or programs you can go through this pdf uh, how to download this pdf i have uploaded uh, one video earlier that may be the previous video so you can go through that video in this list of accredited colleges you have to take the screenshot of this first page and then you have to take the screenshot of the place or the page at which your college or university is present and you can highlight that both one is you can highlight this list of accredited universities or colleges or program and then you can highlight your college name and your degree so if you have completed bs agriculture from that university or college then you have to highlight that particular college then you have to highlight that particular program and you have to make the pdf of only these two pages you no need to make the pdf of all the pages just you can take the screenshot of two pages then you can highlight this to what i what i told earlier and you can upload that pdf so these are the three ways of uploading this icer accreditation certificate the first way is you should get letter from the head of your institution head of your institution means your dean so you can get letter from them that their college and course what you have studied has icr accreditation next second is you can upload that document or the certificate which has been sent from icr to your particular college or university that your college and course has been accredited by icr next the third option is 
you can take the screenshot of these two pages and you can highlight that the list of colleges or universities and your college and your program and you can make the pdf of that one and you can upload that one so these are the three procedures or the three ways that you can upload for kerala agriculture university i hope kerala agriculture university will be consider all the three formats because for the last three to four years we are guiding the students to upload in the same format though we have uploaded in either of the three formats kerala agriculture university is not rejecting anything so you can upload the same but if they have rejected that due to some icr accreditation issue last two to three years they have given time to again upload that one so during that time you can upload that one but another one thing is for example if you are studying in any private college or any college affiliated to some particular agriculture university but your college is not having icer accreditation separately then you are not eligible to apply for kau so you no need to waste that time simply kau will reject the application so last three to four years this is the progress or this is the think what is happening so you can inquire to your seniors also i hope this video will be useful to you for admission to kerala agriculture university i hope everything will be good thank you all the best